Yo, yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome to another Trippy Comms live stream. Today, we're going to try out a Chiliad mystery theory. Um, RJ Trippy Madison is in the chat. If you guys want to give any take on today's theory, definitely let her know. She'll pass on the message. And I'll also be looking at the uh, chat as much as possible. Now, the theory we're going to try is we're going to pick up Michael with Trevor. Let's give him a call. And we're going to take them to the altruist camp. Now, if you look at a lot of the art that came out before the game was even released, it featured Trevor with a baseball bat. And uh, we do know Trevor is linked to the altruist cult members. And they also have a stone with a jetpack symbol on it. That stone is a ritual stone where they kill people. So perhaps... We need to take Michael to the altruist camp and sacrifice him with the baseball bat. For some reason, Michael is uh, agreeing to hang out with us. Not sure if that's a good move, but uh, we're going to go scoop him up in the buzzard. I did crash it a little bit before the video, so hopefully it gets us there. Uh -oh. It's already starting to... Uh, so didn't you hear about this there from somebody on Snapchat? Yeah, we do want to give a shout out to the Rusty Spork. Who gave us this theory via Snapchat? If you Just guys, saying, yeah. Rusty gave us a fucked up theory, but here we go. Man. Oh, it's a great theory. I know, but come on. definitely a great theory makes perfect sense. Like I said, you have Trevor being depicted with the baseball bat. We do know the jetpack symbol appears on a ritual stone, so maybe we have to actually kill Michael with Trevor at the altruist camp. We're going to try it in this live stream. This is definitely a crazy theory. We feel like it's going to take something to unlock the Chiliad mystery. You know, it's not something that's just, oh, you collected everything or, you know, maybe you, you did everything. We think it's something strange to actually do to unlock the Chiliad mystery. And this is a pretty good theory given to us by one of our fans. Let's go ahead and use this uh, old school vehicle to pick up Michael. Where is he? Oh boy, this is not an appropriate Perfect. vehicle. We should have just landed the helicopter. Well, it crashed. Oh shit. Yes, pay attention. Yeah, well I'm looking at the chats, man. What do you expect? <laughs> this is my job. <laughs> so we have Michael picking him up with Trevor. We do need to get a uh, aircraft. I don't really feel like driving all the way up the Ultras camp. Damn it, let's go. So uh, we're gonna have to make a pit stop at the uh, the hangar over here. Pick up a helicopter, and then we'll take the chopper over to the Ultras camp, and we'll figure out once and for all if perhaps we do have to kill Michael because as everybody knows at the end of the game and this is slight spoilers for those of you who haven't actually played the storyline yet you are given a choice you can either kill Michael or Trevor Franklin has to decide and you actually go to Lester for help uh, most people decide not to kill either there is an option where you can just kill everybody off so that way you don't have to do that but maybe you actually have to, to kill off one of the characters. Some people think that in order to unlock the uh, Chiliad mystery, possibly the jetpack, perhaps you have to kill Trevor. There's a lot of clues telling you that he probably should kill him. He's a fucked up guy. Maybe you should kill Michael. Michael's uh, turned his back on some uh, some characters here in the game. Whoa, whoa. Watch out. <laughs> I do have to say it's perfect how Michael is wearing the Epsilon robe. Definitely the perfect outfit to be sacrificed in, that's for sure. A beat bombs battle between Trippy Madison and Trippy Girl? Where's this other Trippy Girl at? Trippy Madison is Trippy Girl. I am. <laughs> so uh, let's go ahead and drive all the way over to Trevor's hangar. Now in this particular theory, we are going with the, the option where you don't kill any character. You keep them all alive so that way you can use them in free roam. But perhaps you have to kill Michael in a particular spot and uh, that spot if it is if, if this theory turns out to be true is most likely going to be the altruist cults ritual stone um, i have taken all of the sacrifices to the altruist camp with trevor so you know made that cut scene happen so uh, there will be nobody there at the altruist cult 
Everybody's dead. Killed them all. Smurge with traffic. Watch out. Coming through. So unfortunately we're leaving Franklin behind. I am surprised that Michael is agreeing to hang out with Trevor. These guys kind of hate each other. I mean, they're business partners. <laughs> they don't really hate each other. They're just having a, you know, a little debacle. Yeah. That's about it. I don't know. Uh, a lot happens Fuck in the it. story. Fuck it, we're going to kill him anyway, so. We are going to kill Michael. Perhaps we need to kill Trevor. We'll leave that for another day. In this theory, yeah, day. we are going to kill Michael with Trevor. These guys are bragging about the biggest score in history. They managed to pull it off. This rap battle. Dude, you know how good at rapping I am, too. Yeah, Trippy Madison's not bad at rapping. <laughs> not bad at all. Alright, I'll put something together for you Ooh, guys. Motorcycle. Maybe a one of these days. Uh, I was tempted to steal that motorcycle, but there's a cop right there. Let's let's just keep driving. Let's do it the safe way. So many times oh man, this rain makes it a little bit harder to drive. So many times in Grand Theft Auto, I'll be heading to do something and then you just catch a glimpse of something or a car you want. Next thing you know, you're breaking the law, you have the cops on you, and it takes an hour to do what you actually plan to do to begin with. For Chiliad mystery reasons, we have to stay focused. Almost to the hangar. Watch out. Damn it. Gotta love the uh, the current gen graphics. They added these puddles, which look great. Oh, who the hell? Now we have some... See what I'm saying, guys? Now all of a sudden we have someone on our ass wants to road rage with us. Not the right people to road rage with, buddy. I'm telling you right now. No cheats. Try to steal the group six man with all three characters, says uh, Silky Slicks. Interesting idea. I'm not sure if three people can fit in that car. Or, uh, I'm sure they can, but in this case, it might not let you. Now, I have gotten some uh, messages of people who have managed to take the vehicle outside of a mission, so it sounds like it is possible. I've put hours into actually trying to pull it off, and so far they haven't let me drive the truck. But I'll make sure to get one, most likely, on a live stream. Are we going to do cheats in this game? Not in this live stream. Alright, cool. That answers your question there. Who asked the question? I gotta find it. We've got so many people in here, it's just, it's overloading. So we have our buzzard. We're now off to the Ultras camp. I have a baseball bat. Baseball bats are another thing that are kind of symbolic in Grand Theft Auto V. You can find them all over the map. It's yeah. even in the FIB logo. We know FIB is linked to the UFOs. So perhaps a baseball bat is the correct weapon to use to sacrifice Michael. We'll find out. Indeed. Almost there. Special shout out to uh, Skeleton King. Really like your name. Tripster T. <laughs> I like that comment. Cheating is for cheating. pussies. That's right. That's what I'm saying. Somebody just said something about cheating. No. Cheating is for fucking pussies. <laughs> uh, special shout out to Children of Chiliad. Really yeah. dig your name. I know you said it was your first live stream, so we welcome, appreciate welcome. you joining up. Trip, trip. Here we are at the altruist camp. Glorious as ever approach in super slow-mo I do want to say that maybe the uh, the slow motion has something to do with the Chiliad mystery I like how you can now speed it up slow it down and slow when you motion, slow it down slow it really does look trippy especially with Mount Chiliad there in the background so maybe you have to slow it down right at the right time to expose something or make something appear uh, you know that that certainly would be a very well hidden clue I haven't found anything like that, but I did want to mention it as perhaps a possibility because it is in the game and it's one of those features that not everybody knows about. You can slow down the speed to uh, the X mode speed that you see them show off in sports sometimes. <laughs> Here we are, Michael. Oh shit, you just hit a bird. We sacrificed a bird <laughs> Damn. before Maybe sacrificing Maybe that's what Michael. you have to do. Maybe that's one of the things that you have to do before you can actually... Uh... We've sure, uh, certainly sacrificed a lot of animals, that's for sure. I know, but 
You don't condone that here. Well, unless it's absolutely necessary, then fuck it, do it. Yes. Alright, Michael, come on over. Where's he going? Okay, he's going. I thought he was going to run away. I was like, buddy, getting, you better come he's over. He's getting here. some exercise. He's going the long way, the scenic route. Come on over. You're our next contestant. For the price is wrong, bitch. Shit. Dude, he has a gun. Yeah, that's not going to help him. You got two bats, just in case. All right. What if he picks one up? Guys, it is time to sacrifice Michael. So we're going to have a moment of silence as we hopefully end his life here at the Ultras Camp on top of the jetpack symbol. Let's see what happens. Well, guys, as you can clearly see, it is not letting us hit Michael with the baseball bat. That's unfortunate. Maybe the baseball bat is just signaling where we do have to sacrifice him. We do know it is a ritual stone, so maybe we can outsmart the game by putting down your favorite, Sticky Bombs. Sticky, sticky, icky bombs. You know I like that sticky, icky bomb. Hold still, Michael. Fire in the hole. No. There he goes. <laughs> Like a fucking rocket. He's injured, all right. Well, we'll take your I, gun. I, Thank I you very much. Oh, oh no! 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 Stop dropping roll. Okay, so we got some money from him. Interesting. So we did outsmart the game. We managed to injure Michael, it's saying he's not dead. But I mean, he's smoking. He looks pretty dead. Let's go ahead and make him extra dead. Put some uh, sticky bombs around here. <laughs> I like the way he's lying down. It's an interesting position. Definitely looks like he's been sacrificed. Put a couple uh, sticky bombs right next to his head. Put a little pillow for him there. Oh no. And let's let's just make sure he's gone for sure. And this is pretty funny because I feel like in the storyline of the game where Michael doesn't like Trevor too much. This is probably something that uh, would go down. Trevor would, would take it out on his dead body. That's for sure. So, guys, we sacrificed Michael. It did not verify that he is dead. It says he's just injured, although, you know, he certainly looks pretty dead. In fact, we'll end him off even more. Uh, any messages in the chat, Madison, about, you know, taking Michael's life here at the Ritual Stone? Nope, I just tuned back in. Looks like Trippy what Mike is in the chat as well. What's up, Trippy Mike? Any questions that you can answer? No. Really appreciate it. What if the baseball bat is pointing in a direction you have to go to find a jetpack? Interesting. What direction would that be? We'll have to uh, check that out. Maybe hop back in the buzzard and follow the direction that it points in. We are pouring all the gasoline that we have on Michael. Definitely making sure to sacrifice him. Unfortunately, it appears that nothing has happened, but I'm wondering if maybe something has spawned in the ritual cave below. There is a uh, mysterious cave with an eternal flame. We have sacrificed Michael here at the ritual stone. And to finish it off, let's set Michael ablaze. Oh boy, here we go. Let's try it out. There he goes. Anybody Someone have said, some blow Michael under the beam at Fort Zancudo. Ooh, not a bad idea. Might How about try the that island? Out. Does it point to the island? Do you think the baseball bat points to the island? Uh, it could. Let's see. Mm, well, if you uh, look at it that way, it points out towards the tip of San Andreas there. But I would assume that maybe it's pointing this way. Yeah, I would say so. Like, what's over there? Oh, look at that. Yeah. Top of the mountain. Interesting. Interesting. Not Mount Chiliad, of course, but it is Mount Josiah as well as Fort San Kudo. Maybe that's a new lead right there. Very interesting. So let's head down to the uh, Ultras Cave below. 
perhaps something has spawned. I wish we could take Michael with us. I mean, maybe we can. They're wondering if you can switch to Michael, can you? Uh... Yes, we can. <laughs> oh boy. Let's here try we go. it out. Is he magically going to be revived? What the fuck? What? Wait a minute. They're setting us all the way back in Los Santos? Who is this? Houdini? Uh oh. This is a Houdini move. Straight up. Wow. All right, take and Michael is back in one shape there. There's a big. Now, unfortunately, it is taken away. Our uh, group six outfit it seems like that outfit is very fragile if you change or die or anything it will take it away one of the reasons why we think it's a little bit suspicious as well as all of group six all right here we are once again at the altruist camp Michael is with us I saw a pretty good comment and uh, people are telling us that perhaps we should try to burn Michael here at the Ritual Stone. Trip, trip. It's definitely worth a try. Interesting. I saw some glitch effects there in the background. I don't know if you guys have noticed this. Uh, I know a couple people have pointed this out, but this really does look like another jetpack symbol to me right here. If you look at that, especially from far away. So it was interesting that there were some glitches around here. Perhaps that is a second jetpack symbol with the first one being right here on the stone. If there's a second one in the same place, that would uh, that would mean that there's probably a huge link and a physical jetpack here at the Ultras camp. That really does look like the one found in GTA San Andreas, so it's pretty interesting. Let's bring Michael over here. Michael. Come over here, Michael. Damn it. Alright guys, once again, let's go silent as we prepare to kill Michael sacrifice him to the gods perhaps giving us a jetpack because it gives us a jetpack clue right here on a sacrificial stone of all places let's see what happens trip, trip. here we go let's set michael on fire all right oh whoa damn it michael you flew away again no what the fuck get in the fire can you pick him up and drag him? We can probably shoot him into it. Yeah, shoot him into it. Well, the fire already stopped. But this is probably a good idea. Perhaps we can shoot Michael all the way on top of the stone. And that'd be a perfect place for him to lie dead. Alright, let's try this one last time. We will drench the ritual stone with gasoline and then try to set Michael ablaze. Last time we used a rail gun and I think that was a little bit too powerful. <laughs> so we'll tone it down a notch. We'll use a pistol or something to light up the fire and we'll see if anything happens. It's going to be really interesting. You can almost see some oranges glows in the ritual stone with the gasoline on it. Very interesting. Thank you guys once again for joining up for the live stream. Uh, if you have any theories you want us to try in a live stream, especially stuff like this where, you know, we have the ideas what we're going to need you guys to see exactly what we're doing so you can tell us if perhaps we should change something or, you know, do anything different when it comes to the particular theory. So uh, thanks again for joining up and let's try this out one more time. All right, stand still, Michael. Once again, guys, moment of silence as we sacrifice Michael to the gods in hopes of spawning the jetpack. There he goes, guys. Mission accomplished. See how much money he had on him. Twelve dollars. Okay, we'll take it. And oh, wait a minute. Here's some more over here. So another eleven. So interesting. He had twenty-three dollars on him. And you can see we sacrificed him right here on top of the stone. We set him on fire, which ironically is the way you kill Trevor if you choose to do so in the last mission of the game. 
Let's shoot Michael up on top of the ritual stone just to end it off. His final resting place. Get him up there. And then we'll go try the cave because there's one place that really is the most mysterious location in the entire game and that is the cave right below the altruist camp. Even the camp itself. Oh no. Alright. We took the fast way. Here we are. Um, oh no. Michael oh, gave us the doctor's bill. So interesting. As soon as we get out of sight, the doctor bill comes in. Altruist camp, for what it is, it still has some missions that you have to do there. Uh, Fort Zancudo. You don't go there too often during the story, but it's the only location to get a laser if you do want to fly one around. But this cave here is completely mysterious, and nobody can really give an exact reason on why it is included in the game. And with the rain, it almost looked like there was some glitch effects, but as you can see, guys, nothing has spawned here. To me, it is the perfect size for a jetpack to spawn, especially the one from San Andreas. You have this unique skull an eternal flame, and a ton of clues. Some moss looks like it's growing under there. Interesting, I don't think I noticed that before. But regardless, there's still nothing proven here at the cave. So I think we have to give thanks. Thank you guys for joining us here in the live stream. Make sure to stay tuned. We have a lot more plans here at Trippy Comms Live. And uh, we have some huge things planned as far as trying some live theories so we hope to see you there live until then stay trippy peace out guys